blessing of the SG Tim of Kujana. So the three top priorities of the Eastern Cape Department of Education are very much context style. Perhaps in the Popo you might find these, but we can't say that the first thing is to improve that learning outcome. The incredible focus on a trick in the Eastern Cape because we're the dance of the country and we've been last and all of this kind of stuff has made us deliberately say it's a quality learning experience. The awfulness of our classrooms and evolutions, the repeated absence of our teachers, even though they have school, they're not teaching, and the dearth of learning materials is we really have to change that experience. Just a quick thing. Or for the last 10 years, 36 to 46,000 foundation phase children have failed and that equals half a billion rand. Never mind what it does to the self-worth of, of the child. And the way we can try to address it and why we focus particularly on the learning experience of the foundation phase is the very lo lo low number of language readers. We've heard today that there lo there's lots of materials. That's not my experience in the Eastern Cape. The reason we decided to go for the graded readers is because certainly in the home language, and the, and the request to, to review the catalogue for home language readers is strongly supported, and teachers who can teach reading. We really made a good start with Funda Wande, and the University of Rhodes will be from next year offering an, a diploma in reading. We're not going to talk about literacy or anything else. We're going to talk about, we're going to learn how to read. These graded readers have now uh, gained a lot of popularity in idea outside of the Eastern Cape. Everybody outside thinks it's wonderful and Nick writes profusely about it, but if you ask people, I ask headmasters, principals, foundation phase teachers, how's it going with the graded readers? Have you handed them out to the children? Uh, what are those? <laughs> so the, while I'm going to continue to say that graded readers are the thing we should do, it's going to be a three to four year process before we can get every teacher to accept that the book has got to go home. Mm -hmm. So unlike work, middle class children who continue to learn, our children go home at two o'clock and there's nothing, there's nothing to read at home. We presented this to National Treasury in the Eastern Cape on Tuesday afternoon and without, I couldn't believe it because he's a shy guy, just burst out in the middle of my presentation, why aren't all the provinces doing this? at 10 rand, a, 10 rand a book. And then we've started with Funda Wande to train. We can't train our teachers. We've got 54,000. But we must go the proper route, and that's to train our subject advisors and heads of department. We are so bound by legislation, regulations, five-year strategic plans, annual performance plans, and detailed reporting. And we have hundreds of requests. And yet people look at, at us in such disappointment and say, oh, they're hopeless, they've got no appetite for my program. Mm -hmm. But we are bound completely by this. So just to give you an example, three years ago, which is recorded, we said that we were going to provide a thousand schools with multimedia resources. When I heard about the, the graded readers, I said, look guys, multimedia resources includes readers. Why don't we do that? It was exactly the seven million read rand we'd put aside but now we were going to provide it to 4,384. I thought it was an absolutely logical decision, but the Auditor General hated it, and we nearly got qualified on that because we were so from, from, from our target of 1,000 to 4,000. <laughs> and so I think it's too late to get a, a message to the President. He's, deci <laughs> He's decided on reading, on Monday, the Education Department presents to the National Treasury the reading plan. The reading plan does not include any home language training of teachers. It's got graded readers in home language, but there's no training. There's only training in, in, in film. On a Thursday, there is a meeting of the provinces and national, and the provinces have persuaded national that we have to have two circuit, we have to have two experts. They're not sitting in the provinces and they're not sitting in DBE to help with this. So our two guest speakers, if you're not doing anything on Thursday, won't you go to the speak? <laughs> we, the Eastern Cape has nominated two people, and I hope that the, what they said today, you will take to that meeting so that we can have a decent reading plan. <laughs>